A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of the sun and casts a shadow across Earth. It's also known as an occultation. The reason solar eclipse happens is that the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon, but the moon is about 400 times closer to the Earth. What this means is that the sun and the moon both have a very similar size when viewed from Earth, so when the moon passes in front of the sun, it blocks the light from reaching Earth. During the eclipse the corona shined like a ring around the moon fully covering the sun totality. During totality, up to a 200-kilometer wide core shadow was created. Something like this happens only during a total eclipse like the one happened on August 21, 2017 in the US. The next one with the same route will take place in 99 years. Here are six amazing facts about solar eclipses you probably didn't know. The weather during a solar eclipse changes noticeably. The weather sensor recorded that it got cloudier and windier shortly before the eclipse started. The temperature dropped 4 degrees centigrade due to light loss. The global radiation changed significantly with the beginning of the eclipse as reflected by the measurements of the weather sensor. The darkness was comparable with the time shortly before sunset. The whole process was like a change from daylight to twilight. As the moon moves in front of the sun, the sun shadow takes the same form as the current one of the solar eclipse. This gets clearly visible when holding a perforated plate in between the sun and the ground. The special shadow looked even sharper on the ground, so it was possible to see very fine shapes. Solar eclipses don't occur every month even the moon seems to take the same path. The orbit of the moon is tilted relative to the orbit of the Earth around the sun, like a gyroscope, so the moon often passes below or above the Earth. At those times, it does not cross the line between the sun and the Earth, and therefore does not create a solar eclipse. Only twice a year a solar eclipse is possible. The sun is 400 times larger than the moon and however gets covered completely. The closer an object, the bigger is its apparent size such. The sun is about 400 times larger than the moon, but the moon is about 400 times closer to the Earth. The result is that from Earth, they appear to be the same size. Because of the various orbits, different types of eclipses occur. If the moon covers the sun only partially, it is called a partial solar eclipse. If the moon moves completely in front of the sun, but cannot cover it completely due to the large distance, it is an annular eclipse. Only in the case of a total solar eclipse, everything matches perfectly, so that the sun disappears completely for a few minutes, leaving only its corona. During an eclipse, you can look into the future. Although the last total solar eclipse occurred around midday, stars were visible during the phase of totality as at night. What is to be seen in the sky, however, it is not the normal stellar constellation, but one that will be seen in several months. Visible sunspots are magnetic fields changing the flow of cosmic material. Although the Sun is 149,600,000 kilometers away from the Earth, geomagnetic storms on the Sun affect our magnetic field. This can even affect airplane or satellite communication or power grids. The geomagnetic storms, also called prominences, are mostly much larger than the Earth. They consist of a loop of hot gas coming from deeper sun layers, such as 20,000 degrees Fahrenheit hot helium caused by solar magnetic activity. During the eclipse, these events get visible in form of sunspots. Solar eclipse events won't happen forever. As the moon is slowly distancing itself from the Earth, the total solar eclipse will expire one day. In around 400 million years the distance between the moon and the sun will be too far to fully cover the sun's disk. Then, solar eclipses will only be a magical memory. Which fact blew your mind? Let us know in the comment section.